What's up everybody? My name is Nicholas Kiros and welcome back to another video. You guys can call me Nick and in this channel we talk a little bit about photography, videography, everything in between and the beautiful city of Orlando which is where I live. No! Currently Katie is not with me, she is at work which is miserable. No! It's just plain and simple, she's not having fun. I didn't have fun for the past week. But today, as you can see on the thumbnail, we are talking about this new baby. This is gonna be my new vlogging lens. So, as you can see, yes, I did get a new lens. I vlog on the USR, which is an amazing camera. However, that one takes RF lenses. The best lens that you could get for vlogging on that one is the 15 to 35 f 2.8 RF mount. That lens is expensive. If I'm not wrong, is twenty three hundred dollars? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not paying that. It's sorry, not happening. So, I have the adapter, which is somewhere over there on top. Yeah, it's it's that thing right there. That's the EF to RF adapter, which means I can buy EF lenses and use those on the USR. Nice. So, why did I choose to do that? The RF mounts are expensive. They're amazing lenses, but they are expensive. There are two different versions of this lens. There's the 16-35 f2.8 and the 16-35 f4, which is the one that I bought. I did not buy the 2.8 for two specific reasons. Number one, the f4 is image stabilized, which means when I'm vlogging, which is why I'm gonna be using this camera, I won't need any kind of in-camera electronic stabilization and the camera footage is not gonna be as shaky even when I'm using, sorry, my trusty little monopod right here. It's not gonna be like picking up this little like walk noise, walk noise, walk movement or anything like that. It's just gonna be stable. Now, the second reason is the F4 works better for me. Why do I say that? Well, mostly of the time, most of the time I work at night. That's when I work, that's when I make my money. I'm a server. And the f2.8, it is not something I would personally use. This is why I cannot use a 2.8 in Florida. This is ISO 100. Yeah. It's Florida, dude. That's where I live. Like with an ND filter, I still gotta bump my f-stop up. My ND filter is two to five. Yes, I could buy a six to nine, but I don't want to. I don't wanna be carrying two filters. That one works on every single one of my lenses. It has missed. It's everything that I need, and Florida is just too bright for me to have a vlogging 2.8 lens. So, let's get to cracking this baby, because I'm excited. I'm already dropping shit. Paperwork. There goes my switch pot. Everything is gone. Just a bunch of paperwork, lens model, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we, we don't need that. Ooh. What is this? Is this a pouch? They give you a pouch? Nice. It's a little, look, it gets so flat and then just, whoosh, and you can put your lens in there. And this is leather, this is nice. I love Canon. Boom, close it up. That's cool. That's a nice little accessory to protect your lenses. Highly doubt I'll be using that just because I have my camera bag as is. And here's the beast itself. Wait, nope, more packing stuff. Oh my God. A lot lighter than I thought it would be. And nothing else in the box, just packing material. Oh yeah, these ones, they do come with this right here, which is a lens hood. And it's those like cool retractor. I'm sure you've seen every single YouTuber use. You put it on your lens and then whenever you're not using, just take it off and then you can put it backwards and keep it in there. Pretty dope. and. If you don't know lens hoods, you use them to remove glare from the sun, that little like light beam reflection. If you wanna use those in photography, it's an amazing little reflection to capture on a photo. Sometimes in video, the sun is just too strong, you just cut a little bit of that light. Dope. Ooh. Big, big filter right there. It's a 77, which is the exact size of that filter that I have right there, which is the Freewell Mist. Like, it feels like when you just get in a new car or you get a new computer, it's just so pristine, just like out of the box, beautiful. So amazing. And that lens hood, like I said, goes in right there. Wait, there we go. So it goes in right there, cuts down the glare and everything. It's pretty secure, won't go anywhere. 
and then to remove it you just take it off and you can put it in like this there you go there you go so i vlog with this lens right here which is the 24 to 105 and it's amazing like the quality of the lens and everything it's just wonderful but it's really zoomed in like what i have to hold my arm like this to vlog now i'll be able to do it like this because the 16 is just so much wider and it's image stabilized as well so for me it's just an easier option and yes i do plan to getting rid of the 24 to 105 just because it's like very heavy i don't do a lot of zoomed in stuff and i do plan to get a 70 to 200 later on down the line but right now i want to just compact like reduce a little bit of lenses so let me just pop this bad boy right here i'm gonna stop using the 35 let's go let's do this all right so i know what you guys are thinking hey nick nothing changed you're still looking the same with the camera it's just the background's not even that blurred and the image's a little dark but here's the thing do you are you sure about that like really no not yet are you really like hi this is 16 mil what's up here we go like, i can hold the camera so close to my face like this is awesome this is crazy and of course i'm just i'm not even vlogging on uh the whole wide zoom it is but here you go because i know that the house is a little bit of a mess and my mom's gonna kill me this is awesome all right i think i talked too much about this lens you guys understood the idea it's wide it's awesome it's gonna make my life so much easier so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see everyone in the next one peace